Dude, really quick, I'm just gonna have an old man moment and say, what a time to be alive. <laughs> I never thought I would see this in my lifetime. I didn't think Takara would ever do this to create a posable, highly configurable G1 version of Optimus Prime. Wow, wow. So we're just gonna crack this guy open right now. I mean, <sighs> dude, I'm just at a loss for words. I know there have been many, many great customizers um, just in their private space who have done this kind of same thing, who have given Optimus Prime um, the, 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 what is it, mobility, flexibility treatment that I just can't get this in here. There we go, excuse me. Um, and yeah, people have done this, have homebrewed this at home, but, oh my god, this is another piece of tape. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, they've homebrewed this guy a lot, but this is the official from Takara Tomy, and, oh, oh, I ripped the box! <laughs> no! No! I should have been more careful, but, uh, oh well. Oh wow, dude, it comes in Styro. I don't know why I didn't notice that, but it's in, oh my gosh, old fashioned, don't care about the earth, Styro. Wow, and it feels like the old stuff, the carcinogenic stuff. Holy smokes, he has Matrix, dude. Dude, it's pretty big, man. Wow, wow, is that a... I was wondering, like, is that a hex port in there? But that's pretty cool, dude. And it's a nice, thick little piece of plastic that was uh, respectably given to the Matrix. Um, then we have the little Energon sword, which opens up like this. Have we seen this? Not on G1, right? Maybe on some third parties or something like that. But yeah, that's, that's well done. I'm trying to see if this is a five millimeter. I know you're like, what, this is a random bit? Oh, nice, it is five milli. Sweet, sweet, yo, that means his hands are five milli as well. Milli vanilli, yes. Then we have his blaster over here. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is also five milli, right? Because I mean, if the other stuff was, why wouldn't this be? Uno, dose. And then he can hold it, right? Like, like that, and so. That's pretty neat, dude. Oh, wow. So let's get Prime out of his truck. <sighs> what a time to be alive! <laughs> dude, what are these things? Are these just like screw marks? Yuck. Yuck. I don't like that at all. And they're all in the same places, so this leads me to believe that these are sprue marks, but... Dude, I don't like that, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a lighter to it. Because, you know, if you do a quick heat brush, these will disappear, or at least on the newer plastics they do on the vinyl. I don't know about the old stuff, so perhaps I won't try. Um, wow. It, 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 it feels like how I remember Optimus Prime feeling. He does feel heavier, though. And, uh, the inside, obviously, is molded differently. Because, oh, dude. All the joints on this feel so premium, dude. Oh, that feels good, man. Um, looks like the Matrix just goes in there. Because in the previous version, there was an empty cavity where the head would sit, and um, you could have the Diaclone drivers in there before. Right now, he just looks kind of like there's a Cyclopean guy. But that's rad. That's rad, dude. Now, um, I don't think I need to look at the instructions, right? I don't, I don't think I do. Um... Let's take a look anyway. I don't know if they've done anything special to it. Um, I'm imagining that the transformation sequence is, is going to be identical, nearly identical, but uh, just to be safe, just to be safe, because I'm a horrendous trans, like horrendous transformer. Like um, I'm, I'm very poor at that. Oh wow, I forgot about the tech spec. Get the cup out of here, dude. Whoa, Nito Completo. <laughs> Need a completo gimmicks galore. Oh, neat! A tiny little. Uh, this is kind of thin, but uh, yeah, it's convoy missing link, and you can you see him in his like posability in this kind of like a stance configuration. Uh, these must be the instructions. What's this? Oh, stickers. Interesting. I don't like applying stickers. I wish they had come applied, but uh, whatever, dude. Oh, that's the one thing I just realized. The version of Optimus Prime that I have at home, this is a silver silver sticker over here. This is painted on here, this gray. Um, it's kind of nice. Yeah, because the silver was a little bit gaudy before in the past. 
and uh, yeah, this this is reminiscent of kind of like the G1 inserts, right? You guys know what I'm talking about? Not exactly alike, but um, yeah, the G1 inserts used to come with these like little colorful pamphlets and stuff. Really, uh, just a catalog of future toys that you can buy, but that's kind of reminiscent of that, uh, and probably intentionally done. Uh, you know, looking at this, I wonder if this is what the G1 Japanese instructions look like. Um, I would have loved if this would have looked like the original, like, American G1 instructions that I'm used to. That would have been cool. But uh, maybe this is how it was in Japan, and therefore, that's why it's done this way. Okay, it's just a one-sheeter. Not not too much. And the first thing that they're talking about is um, they, they start with the hands. I was just going to yank this down, but um, I don't know. There might be something like locking it in place so I won't go Hulk smash. But it says, uh, bring that out. Oh, the goodness, This the, the, the recognizable hands going into the the ribs in the front, you know, when you see Optimus transform, it's, and you hear the... Dun, 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 you got the touch, you know, when you see him, like, transforming for one of the last time, well, not last time, but before all the bad stuff happens. Wow. Wow. Look at his head. Is that on the ball joint? I don't think it is. Because there's not a lot of movement anyway, so um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Looks good. Paint's done well. No overspray, and um, very reminiscent, uh, obviously, of the G1 figure. You know, I'm wondering if the hands come off. Uh, I, they they probably don't. They're probably just on like ball pegs and stuff. Because this is what you know they're trying to avoid in the first place. The hands coming off. Um, it would have been nice for me to have a five millimeter port to mess with, other than just the fists themselves. But um, that's fine. Okay, so we have the hands out, the paint is immaculate, the quality, the production, the, everything like feels so nice. And, um, oh, totally forgot to mention that, uh, yeah, I got this from my sponsor, ShowZ. First party stuff, third party stuff, fourth party stuff, add-on kits, upgrades, all of that. It's a tremendous place to shop, so check out ShowZStore.com. And, um, yeah, the purchase link you can find in the description. Totally forgot to mention them in my hype of uh, addressing this guy. Um... But yeah, no, they're good to me. They're good to me. And they provide us toys to give away and stuff like that, too. Oh, so I can see, actually, it says, um, one of the first things to do is to spread the legs. In the G1 version, you just brought them down. But here, it says very specifically to spread them. Um, and as you spread them, oh, I guess maybe that unlocks something. Oh, I see. Spreading them allows you to, um, it, it's not tabbed in, but it's, it's, it allows you to, 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 to navigate the clearance, and, um, wow. And then from here, I think these bend up one more time, right? But, um, yeah, they do. They do. I guess, I'm trying to look at the tires on the side. I, I guess the tires are just, like, hanging out here. Is that right? Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. If we look at step 11, the tires are just, like, chilling there. So from here, this looks like this goes up. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I'm doing it right. I just want to make sure that I'm navigating any type of like clearance that might be holding this in place, and of course I don't want to break this. But what? It's just like this? There's no additional hinge? That don't seem right. Oh, it's just a spread. Like, it just spreads out a little bit. Because in the original one, there the gears on the, um, that are, uh, what is it, on the hips are at an angle so that when you fold them up, they compress. And when you fold them down, they expand. So I guess that's what they did to kind of um, negotiate that. Uh, it's not bad. And then that gives them more range of motion, obviously, flexibility and all of that stuff. And uh, holy smokes. Dude, the ratchets feel good. I, you know, I don't remember if the original one had ratchets in the legs. I, I don't. There's no ratchets in the arm. The original one did not. They have ratchets at the shoulder, at the elbow. I don't remember if the G1 had that one either. You know what? I should have brought my G1 uh, version at, from home. Um, when I do the review for the the long version, the one with the trailer, I will make sure to do a, a proper comparison. But um, he's nice, dude. His toe tilt. The paint is done really, really well. Chrome is done very well. Chrome is very clean, very, very clean, which I like. 
Um, again, not a lot of like too many empty like, like spaces. I mean, this of course this is just how it is. Uh, but this is done well. Lots of die cast. Oh, no. Die cast in the feet. I can't tell if the hips are die cast or if these are. I want to say they're. I want to say these are plastic with just chrome, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Jeez, Louise, this guy's nice, man. This it brings back so many memories. And this is like always how you wanted him, you know. I mean, he's he has, he's a bit of a gorilla arm guy over here, but uh, dude, let's try the. He can do it, right? I swear, I thought I saw a picture of him holding um and I guess you can if you orient the fist just right you can <laughs> you can kind of have <laughs> that's kind of weak dude um and I know they're trying to because I saw a picture where somebody mocked it up and it's supposed to be when he's um, holding it with both of his hands like he did in the movie when he's just like taking tools out. But uh, no, it doesn't look that great here. Oh, they even have some silver paint in there. Wow, very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's a very cool toy. And uh, for a bunch of you new heads, this might be a little bit too retro uh, for you. But yo, y'all y'all old heads, old schoolers, G1ers, boomers, yo. Isn't this nice? I know y'all bought a copy, right? I know y'all bought a copy for yourselves. It's really, really quite nice. Um, I'm fat cheesing right now. I'm like super smiling as I go through this and it's just a really, really enjoyable piece with this ax. Ah, oh, that's nice, dude. I missed you, Prime. I missed you, Prime, and I'm glad that you're back. I'm really, really happy that you're back. They're going to be doing Cliff Jumper and Bumblebee uh, next, and that's all fine and dandy, but yo, where's Megatron? Where's Megatron? That's what we're all wondering. Where is Megatron, right? Make it happen, Captain. Anyway, talk to you soon, um, and we'll do the um, other review on the, the one with the trailer, the trailer version as well, okay? I will talk to you soon, friends. Bye-bye.